गुड मॉर्निंग दिस क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग द सब्सटीट्यूएंट इफेक्ट ऑन द एसिडिटी ऑफ फिनॉल लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द एसिडिटी ऑफ फिनॉल फिनॉल इज एसिडिक इन नेचर बिकॉज इन वाटर इन सोल्यूशन फिनॉल कैन चेंज इन टू फिनॉक्साइड आयोन एंड इट कैन रिलीज एच प्लस आयोन नाउ suppose there is a substituent is present on the phenolic ring if a substituent is present on the phenolic ring how it will affect its acidity whether the acidity will increase or the acidity is uh, decreasing let us go through the substituent effect on the acidity of uh, phenol first effect of effect of electron electron withdrawing group withdrawing withdrawing group on the on the acidity of acidity of phenol acidity of phenol the effect of electron withdrawing group on the acidity of phenol that means uh, if electron withdrawing groups are present on the phenolic ring how it will affect the acidity of phenol and we you know that uh, which are the electron withdrawing group of course the no, uh, electron withdrawing groups example no2 group nitro group is electron withdrawing group and uh, cho group is electron withdrawing group cn is electron withdrawing group coh is uh, electron withdrawing group etc these are the electron withdrawing group suppose if these groups are present on the ring how it will affect the acidity of uh, phenol okay look at here okay this is our uh, phenol okay phenol now you can see that uh, uh, in water the phenol will change into phenoxide ion and uh, h plus suppose this is phenol and uh, if there is electron withdrawing group like no2 is present on this phenol okay no2 group is present or oh, para nitrophenol okay now we are comparing para nitrophenol is less acidic than phenol or more acidic than phenol okay that we are discussing how it will affect the presence of no2 group this is electron withdrawing group the presence of no2 group how it will affect the acidity whether it will become more acidic than phenol or less acidic than phenol we can see that the no2 group the actual structure of no2 group is like this okay here it is it is like this okay here it is oh no2 is n double bond o and o minus here is a positive charge this is the actual structure of a no2 group and look at here by resonance okay by resonance you can see that uh, okay this uh, 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 or or you can see that uh, in water it will change into phenoxide ion okay first in, uh, in water it will change into uh, phenoxide ion okay that means uh, that means here it will become o minus and of course h plus of course h plus and here it is our uh, n no2 group n double bond o o minus n plus okay uh, this is our uh, phenoxide ion that means uh, nitro group is there and uh, here it is o minus now due to the presence of no2 group electron withdrawing group what will happen to the negative charge on the oxygen atom negative charge on the oxygen atom okay uh, look at here okay h plus is here and you can see that in the next step this negative charge as we have discussed earlier okay negative charge will be uh, shifted to here then that time what will happen this pair of electron will be moved to uh, this carbon and you get a structure like this okay here it is like this there is a pair of electron and here is a double bond and you can see that here is the bond bond and here it is n double bond o o minus n plus okay in the next step uh, we, uh, you know that uh, what is happening this pair of electron will be shifted to here then this bond this bond is moving to this carbon okay and we get a structure like this okay again i am drawing the same ring okay here it is like this and uh, since the pair of electron is moving here here is a double bond and here is our old double bond and here it is a n double bond o o minus n plus and uh, since the electron is moving to here here is a pair of electron and uh, uh, negative charge and of course our double bond o is here okay clear 
and in the next step you can see that uh, what will happen this pair of electron that means uh, the pair of electron present on this carbon this will be moved to here that means uh, double bond is creating between carbon and nitrogen this pair of electron that means uh, that pair of electron that negative charge is coming out of the ring and that means this pair of electron is coming out of the ring and here it will become a double bond that time what will happen this pair of electron will be moved to oxygen so we get uh, another structure like this okay here it is double bond here is bond okay this double bond now here you can see that there is a n okay and here it is o minus okay and here it is also o minus of course again it will have a positive charge okay here because again the double bond is creating here nitrogen is having four bonds therefore it will have a, a positive charge of course the valency of nitrogen is three here you can see that everywhere you can see that it is having a four bond that is why it is having a positive charge okay and here it is uh, o minus and in the next step what will happen you can see that uh, uh, okay, in the next step what will happen, the, again, uh, this pair of electron, uh, first it is moving to oxygen, therefore it will create a whole, uh, double bond here and the nitrogen is getting, again nitrogen is having a positive charge. In the next stage, this moved electron will come back, okay, that means uh, again this will, uh, this will, this bond is uh, going back to this carbon and we get a structure like this, look at it here, okay, here it is like this, here it is like this, okay, double bond or and again here it is a single bond n here it will become double bond and here it is o minus of course again it is having a four bonds a positive charge this pair of electron is moving to this carbon again this carbon is getting a negative charge now in the next step what will happen this will go here okay and that time what will happen to this bond this bond is moving to uh, this oxygen okay and what you will get uh, we we get okay we are getting a structure like this okay here it is like this okay here it is double bond here it is double bond and here is a negative charge and here is double bond here is n double bond o, o minus and here it is uh, plus and uh, in the next step what will happen this will go here then here it will become a double bond and uh, this will go back oxygen again is getting a negative charge okay and in the next step what will happen this will come back then the reverse direction that you know very well so here it is you can see that here it will become a double bond this is moving here and oxygen is getting a negative charge with a pair of electron in the next step it will come back and then what will happen this double bond will move to this carbon and it will go reverse direction here you can see that the negative charge on the ring is pulled out you can see that the negative charge is delocalized the negative charge is completely delocalized that means the presence of electron withdrawing group the electron withdrawing group pulling out the negative charge from the ring that means here is a minus m effect mesomeric effect electron withdrawing effect or minus m effect is there or minus r effect is there therefore what will happen the negative charge on the oxygen is highly reduced the negative charge on the oxygen atom is uh, highly reduced suppose it is not here means the electron withdrawing group is not here what will happen this will be shifted to here then uh, negative charge will come on this carbon again that means the delocalization is only inside the ring the delocalization is only inside the ring but when there is a electron withdrawing group see the delocalization of the negative charge is coming out of the ring that means uh, the electron density on the phenoxide ion this oxygen atom is highly reduced that means uh, when the negative charge on the oxygen atom is reduced the, the removal of h plus become more 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 and more easier more and more easier that means uh, what is that uh, this when there is a electron withdrawing group is present on the ring uh, that substituent uh, uh, substituted phenol is more acidic than uh, uh, our normal phenol clear because uh, if there is an electron withdrawing group, it will decrease the electron density on the phenoxide ion. Okay, it will pull, pull the electron density from the ring or it will pull the electrons out of the ring. Therefore, uh, the phenoxide ion will become more and more stable. Therefore, it will become a stronger acid than our uh, normal phenol.
clear okay so uh, this is the effect of uh, electron withdrawing group now you can see that as the number of electron withdrawing group what will happen to the uh, acidity as the number of electron groups are withdrawing groups are is increasing the acidity will also increase that means uh, if there is a, a more number of no2 group more number of here is also no2 here is also no2 that means that is uh, will become a stronger acid than uh, 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 nitro uh, phenol uh, para nitro phenol that that means as the number of electron drawing groups are increasing the acidity will also increase and keep it in mind when there is electron withdrawing group is present in a phenolic ring that will become more acidic than phenol Second is uh, effect of effect of electron donating group donating group electron donating group example NH2 group NH2 group is electron donating group next is uh, OR group electron donating group Another is OH group. If one more OH is coming on the ring, that are also electron donating groups. Suppose this type of electron donating groups are present on the ring, how it will affect uh, the acidity of phenol? Okay, look at here. Okay, this is our uh, phenol. Okay, here suppose electron uh, donating group NH2 is present, here it is uh, NH2 is present, that means uh, in water the phenol will change into, okay, it will change into, here you can see that it will change into O minus and H plus, of course, uh, what is here NH2. Now what will happen, if there is a electron uh, donating group is present on the ring, okay, uh, electron donating group is present on the ring, what will ha happen, you can see that, uh, okay, H plus is removed, okay, now you can see that, uh, here, okay, H plus is removed, that H plus is here, I am showing this uh, O minus and H plus is here. Now, we NH2 group, look at here, you can see that uh, uh, the, there is a lone pair electron is present on the nitrogen atom, lone pair is, electron is present on the nitrogen atom and you can see that uh, this pair of electron will be shifted to here. Clear? This pair of electron is shifting to here. That time what will happen? You can see that uh, this bond, this bond is uh, moving to this carbon, correct? That means, uh, uh, you can see that uh, the removal of H plus is become easier if the electron density on the oxygen atom is reduced. If this electron density is delocalized or it, if it is moved away from oxygen, if, it, if the negative charge can move away from oxygen, what will happen? The removal of H plus is easier and it will become more acidic. But in this case, you can see that due to the presence of electron donating group, electron pushing group, what will happen? It will push the electron towards the ring, inside the ring, that means the delocalization of the, the delocalization of the phenoxide ion is become difficult, that means electron pushing group will reduce the stability of phenoxide ion, it will reduce the phenoxide of, uh, 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 stability of phenoxide ion, or you can see that electron pushing group uh, will not favor the formation of phenoxide ion or you can say that uh, due to the electron pushing effect what will happen the electron density on the oxygen atom will increase therefore it will attract back the H plus ion that means uh, this is uh, less acidic when there is electron donating group is present on the phenolic ring that is uh, less acidic than phenol clear because uh, due to a, a plus m effect or plus r effect what will happen it will increase the electron density on the phenoxide ion it will increase the electron density on the oxygen atom so the removal of h plus becomes difficult therefore uh, the presence of uh, electron donating group will reduce the acidic nature of uh, that uh, uh, substituted phenol
but in the case of electron withdrawing group if there is electron withdrawing group what will happen it will reduce the negative charge on the oxygen atom therefore the removal of H plus is easier and hence it will become more acidic than our normal and substituted phenol clear okay now uh, look at here uh, examples example compare the acidity of compare the acidity of example i can write compare this is a question compare the acidity of acidity acidity of okay you have given three compounds okay one is uh, uh, phenol is here and you, another compound is uh, okay oh no2 nitrophenol is here okay another compound is uh, another compound is uh, this one oh and here it is och3 Okay, uh, OCH3, these are the compounds. Compare their acidity. So you have to write in the increasing order of uh, or in the decreasing order of acidity of this compound. Okay, these are A, this is A, this is B, and this one is C. Which one is more acidic that we are writing first? Which one is more acidic? Uh, look at here. In here, in the second compound, that means B. Here you can see that there is electron withdrawing group. NO2 group is there. There is this electron withdrawing group. Uh, of course, this could be NO2 or it can be CN. This is also electron withdrawing group. Or it can be uh, CHO, CHO. It, this is also electron withdrawing group. Or COH. These are all electron withdrawing group. Suppose there is electron withdrawing group is present. Uh, uh, so of course, you know, what will happen? It will reduce the negative charge on the oxygen atom because uh, uh, it will uh, uh, undergo uh, uh, resonance. Um, uh, the phenoxide ion can be will, will get a greater stability because uh, uh, due to the presence of electron withdrawing group, it will pull out the negative charge from the ring. Okay, CHO group means what is the actual structure of CHO? C H double bond O. Okay, so what will happen? The uh, uh, when the negative charge, see this will be shifted to here. So what will happen? The negative charge come here. Okay, so this type of uh, uh, electron withdrawing effect is present if there is CHO or CN or COH is present. Okay, so here it is CHO. Suppose this is the compound. Then which one is more acidic? B. This is uh, uh, more acidic. Then this one and this one. Okay. Uh, here what type of group is OCH3 as I told you OR is electron pushing group electron pushing group how will it will push electron because the lone pair electron of oxygen is here so what will happen it will be shifted to here so what will happen again this bond is uh, uh, the means uh, electrons are pumping inside the pumping into the ring that will destabilize the phenoxide ion that will destabilize the phenoxide ion so what will happen it will reduce uh, the acidic nature so what is that uh, here you can see that so this is uh, this is uh, OCH3 is electron uh, electron uh, pushing group. So uh, uh, electron pushing group. Therefore, what will happen? The electron density on the oxygen atom will increase. Removal of H plus become difficult. That means this is least basic. Therefore, B. Uh, uh, then what will become our phenol? Yeah. Okay, because there is no effect, electron uh, pushing effect or electron withdrawing group effect is there. First electron withdrawing, then uh, without any group phenol, then least uh, acidic is, uh, least acidic is uh, C because of the electron uh, pushing group. Okay, electron pushing group. So, uh, most acidic uh, electron withdrawing group, then uh, phenol, then this is electron or CH3, electron withdrawing group. Okay. So this is the substituent effect on the acidity of phenol. So keep it in mind, if there is electron withdrawing group, uh, that substituted phenol is more acidic than our normal phenol. If there is electron pushing group, that substituted phenol is less acidic than our phenol. Okay, thank you.